What's up guys, Dan Hawes here, and this is Houdini's last transposition. Uh, you know Houdini was an escape artist, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the Jack of Spades to represent Houdini. We're gonna take the Jack of Spades, place it in the center of the deck. Uh, I need you to examine a rubber band for me. Perfect, great, good. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna take the rubber band and wrap the deck. Actually, you know what, we'll wrap it twice so we know nothing gets in or out. Okay, take my fingers, on the count of three, one, two, three. One card shoots to the back of my hand, which is Houdini. Now the reason uh, I asked in the beginning if you were familiar with Houdini is because Houdini and, and his wife Bess would do something called the metamorphosis, where, um, well I'll show you, uh, Bess would get in the box, okay, and Houdini would stay on the outside of the box. And in the blink of an eye, they would switch places. Now Bess would be on the outside, Houdini would be on the inside, and, um, they would take their bow, and everything could be examined. This is Houdini's last transposition. What I love about this effect is you get two very highly visual moments. The first one is where the card appears on the back of your hand. The second one is you get a beautiful transposition of one card to another card. Also, it has a very beautiful story that goes along with cut. <laughs> I'm sorry. You get a very beautiful moment with this uh, trick. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Houdini's last transposition. It's great.